Welcome to Craft Plan Create. Hi crafty friends, today I'm decorating my planner for October 16th through the 22nd. In this spread I'll be using this retired sticker book from Live Love Posh. It is Hello Fall and also The Princess Magic. It is a Disney sticker book by The Happy Planner and this Indigo sticker book by Me and My Big Ideas and The Happy Planner. If you're new to my channel, I want to thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy this plan with me. So please sit back and relax, and let's get started. I may have mentioned in a previous video that I like the autumn and celebrating fall festival type of things, but I don't like Halloween per se. So I want to be festive in my planner pages. I selected these beautiful blue pumpkins and I want to pair them up with Mulan from this Princess Magic sticker book. One of the reasons why I like this Princess Magic sticker book is because it had clear stickers and paper stickers. The pumpkins I found in Hello Fall match with the color palette in the Indigo sticker book, so that's the primary reason why I picked that. And here are the paper stickers for Mulan. I really like the Asian inspired artwork inside of each of these pumpkins, and I'm hoping that it complements these beautiful Mulan stickers. The first thing I want to do is place this wonderful giant pumpkin here at the top between Thursday and Friday. I really like that the Indigo sticker book has different types of patterns. There's stripes and tie-dye looking kind of colors. I'm going to use a double box sticker between Friday and Saturday. This week I have quite a few appointments and I also have to write some notes down for my appointments coming up next week. So I need these larger writing spaces. I need to place a vertical box on Monday and Tuesday. As you can see in this little mini flip through, there are lots of really cute boxes to choose from. I think I'm going to select some of these, however. Even as I pull this sticker out of the book, I can already tell you I don't like that word today. I need to cover that up. I need another vertical box for Tuesday. I saw some other really cute boxes in here. They had more designs on it. This one is really, really cute. And for some reason, the writing on this sticker, I think, is fine. I set it down lower on Tuesday because I didn't feel comfortable laying that sticker right abutted against the vertical box on Monday. Then I select this appointment sticker and I'm just going to trim off the little pointed end and place it here on Monday. Prioritizing this week is going to be essential to getting everything done so I'm going to go ahead and put this top priority box in the sidebar. I need another vertical box for Sunday for my faith planning. So I'm just going to take this one. I really like the design all around the frame. I really want to add some of this tie-dye washi at the bottom of my right hand page beneath Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think I like this better at an angle, so I'm just going to cut this. My biggest struggle with this spread is just trying to pick a Milan image. They're all so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add this standing Mulan right here on Sunday. Well, actually, she's going to be kind of standing between Saturday and Sunday. 
True Confessions, that note sticker on Tuesday is really bugging me. So I'm going to move that up a little higher and I'm just going to put it right next to the other vertical box on Monday. I needed a smaller box for Wednesday just to make some notes. I wanted one that was not so heavily decorated like the other two boxes on Monday and Tuesday. And this page had a solid blue smaller box and I'm going to go ahead and place that here on Wednesday. As I continue to decorate these pages, I hope that you enjoy this part and I'll be back in a few minutes. This is my thought process. I didn't want to place this pumpkin underneath that other set of pumpkins there on Thursday and Friday. So I decided to put it here in the sidebar to create a little bit more dimension on my planner pages. I need another box across Tuesday and Wednesday. So I turn to this book, Once Upon a Time Princess. It has all the princesses in it, and you can see I've used it a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and select that Mulan sticker at the top that has the lavender framing and place it there. I think that that color around the frame of the box matches all the colors in the spread best. Now that I've added this longer box, you're going to see that I covered one of the disc bound hole punches. So I need to replace that punched hole and I'm going to use the Cropodile disc power punch. It's very easy to use. You just align the hole with the disc impression and press and that's it. I like to lock mine before I put it away. I'll also link the video from We Are Memory Keepers down below. I definitely need a box or something here on Thursday, so I'm turning to this Indigo sticker book by The Happy Planner. It has this really beautiful tie-dye circle sticker. At least it's tie-dye on the frame, and I'm going to go ahead and place that there on Thursday. Before I wrap up this spread, I want to add a few more decorations.
Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and checking out my content. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.